Rebbe Hebrew, Arbi or, is a Yiddish word derived from the Hebrew word rabbi, which means master, teacher, or mentor. Like the title rabbi, it refers to teachers of Torah or leaders of Judaism. In common parlance of modern times, the phrase the Rebbe is often used specifically by Hasidim to refer to the leader of their Hasidic movement. Terminology and origin The Yiddish term Rebbe comes from the Hebrew word rabbi, meaning, my master, which is the way a student would address a master of Torah. It was an honorific originally given to those who had smicha in the Pharisaic and Talmudic era. Since vowels were not written at the time, it is impossible to know historically whether it was pronounced ra -b or rb. The English word rabbi comes directly from this form. In Yiddish, the word became rebbe, now commonly spelled rebbe, or just reb. The word master Arbi Rav av literally means, Great One. The sages of the Mishnah known as the Tanaim, from the 1st and 2nd centuries of the Common Era, were known by the title Rabbi for example, Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Shimon bar Yochoi. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, the leader of Jewry in Mishnaic times, was simply called Rabbi, as being the Rabbi par excellence of his generation. The sages of the Talmud known as the Amoraim, from the 3rd, 4th and early 5th centuries, those born in the land of Israel, are called rabbi, those born in the diaspora are known by the title Rav. Usage Today, Rebbe is used in the following ways. Rabbi, a teacher of Torah, yeshiva students or cheder elementary school students, when talking to their teacher, would address him with the honorific Rebbe, as the Yiddish-German equivalent to the Hebrew word Rabbi 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 Abi. Personal mentor and teacher. A person's main Rosh Yeshiva, Yeshiva teacher, or mentor, who teaches him or her Talmud and Torah and gives religious guidance, is referred to as Rebbe, also as an equivalent to the term, Rabbi. Spiritual leader. The spiritual head of a Hasidic movement is called a Rebbe. His followers would address him as the Rebbe, or refer to him when speaking to others as the Rebbe, or my Rebbe. He is referred to by others as the Rebbe of a particular Hasidic. In Hebrew, a Hasidic Rebbe is often referred to as an Admor, which is an abbreviation for Adoninu, Moreinu, Varabinu, our master, our teacher, and our rabbi. In writing, this title is placed before the name of the Hasidit, as in Admor of Bells, while the title Rebbe comes after the name of the Hasidit when used as an adjective, as in Lubavitcher Rebbe, Amshinver Rebbe, and every Rebbe of every Hasidic dynasty. In the Litvishay world, when not referring to a Hasidic Rebbe, the word can be pronounced Rebbe. Sephardic Jews can pronounce it as Ribi. The Lubavitcher Hasidim have a tradition that the Hebrew letters that make up the word Rebbe are also an acronym for Rosh B'nai Yisrael, meaning a spiritual head of the children of Israel. An ordinary communal rabbi, or Rebbe in Yiddish, is sometimes distinct from a Rav, also pronounced Rav by Jews of Eastern European or Russian origin, who is a more authoritative halakhic decider. A significant function of a rav is to answer questions of halakha, corpus of Jewish law, but he is not as authoritative as a posik. The short form reb is an honorific for Orthodox Jewish men, who are most likely to have profound knowledge of the Talmud and Torah, as opposed to Reconstructionist, Reform or Conservative Judaism. Originally, this title was added to the names of Jews at the time of the schism with the Karaite sect, as a sign of loyalty to the original rabbinic tradition, known today as Orthodox Judaism. Hasidism As a rule, among Hasidim, Rebbe is referred to in Hebrew as Admor place Admorim, an abbreviation for Hebrew Adoninu Moreinu Virabinu, meaning our master, our teacher, and our rabbi, which is now the modern Hebrew word in Israel for Rebbe. Hasidim use the term Rebbe also in a more elevated manner, to denote someone that they perceive not only as the religious leader or Nasi of their congregation, but as their spiritual advisor and mentor. The Rebbe or my Rebbe in this sense is a Rav or Rabbi whose views and advice are accepted not only on issues of religious law and practice, but in all arenas of life, including political and social issues. Sometimes a Hasid has a Rebbe as his spiritual guide and an additional Rav for rulings on issues of halakha. 
Hasidim use the concept of a non-Hasidic Rebbe in the simple sense of rabbi, as the Yiddish-German equivalent to the Hebrew word rabbi rabbi abi. For example, I will ask my Rebbe, Rabbi Plony so-and-so, for advice about this personal matter. The Hasidic Rebbe A Hasidic Rebbe is generally taken to mean a great leader of a Hasidic dynasty, also referred to as Grand Rabbi in English or an Admor, a Hebrew acronym for Adaninu Moreinu Varabinu, Our Lord, Master, Teacher, and Rabbi. Outside of Hasidic circles the term Grand Rabbi has been used to refer to a rabbi with a higher spiritual status. The practice became widespread in America in the early 1900s when Hasidic Rebbes began to emigrate to the United States and was derived from the German Grossabiner. Rabbi Yisroel Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidism, is regarded by Hasidim as the first Hasidic Rebbe. During his lifetime he was referred to mainly as the Holy, rather than as Rebbe, and his disciples were Magadim, or preachers such as the Maggot of Chernobyl or the Maggot of Mezrich. The first, Rebbe, to be known as such was the Baal Shem Tov's grandson, Rabbi Borich of Meziboj, who was referred to as the Rebbe during his lifetime. After him, those who rose to positions of leadership and their successors began to be called Rebbe. The title gradually came to suggest a higher spiritual status. Each Hasidic group refers to its leader as the Rebbe. Hannah Rachel Verbermacher, also known as the Maiden of Ludmere or the Ludmirer Moid, was the only female Rebbe in the history of the Hasidic movement. She lived in the 19th century in Ukraine and Israel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Relationship of Hasidim to their Rebbe. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rebbe as Zadik. According to Maimonides, a zodic is one whose merit surpasses his, her iniquity, and every person can reach the level of a zodic. According to the Tanya, a zodic has no evil inclination, and only a select few predestined to attain this level can attain it. According to Kabbalah, and particularly the Hasidic understanding of Kabbalah, the world is sustained on the shoulders of zodicum nisterum, divinely predestined, exceptionally righteous people in a generation. Nobody has knowledge about who was such a Zadok, even one of these exceptionally righteous people would not know that they really are such a Zadok. These people are understood to have perfected their personal service of God to such an extent that they become literally and physically aware of God. These righteous people's perception of both spiritual and physical, not to mention temporal matters transcends the apparent boundaries of existence. However, a Hasidic Rebbe is generally said to be a righteous person, called a Zadok. Furthermore, a Rebbe is said to be able to affect divine providence, and a Rebbe is said to be able to see the future, or at least have strong insight into the life and trials of another. As a result, Hasidim in some Hasidic circles seek their Rebbe's advice for a variety of concerns, spiritual, physical, and even business concerns. Furthermore, many people seek the blessing of a Rebbe and a Hasid will specifically seek the blessing of his own Rebbe for anything from minor and all the more so major physical troubles, to grand spiritual concerns. Many famous and common stories of a Rebbe's intervention involve women who successfully seek a Rebbe's blessing for fertility so that they can conceive after having been barren for many years. Zadok Hador. In some movements the Hasidim believe that their Rebbe is the Zadok Hador Zadok of the generation and would regard any thought that detracts from his perfection and holiness as heresy. Other sects lessen this idealization to some degree or another. Since many Rebbes are sons-in-law or students of other Rebbes, it makes sense that they would view themselves as subordinate to those other Rebbes. Nonetheless, their Hasidim remain loyal to them because of their special loyalty, a family connection, or a belief that a specific Zadok or Nasi Hador although others might have greater spiritual stature connects best with one soul. For example, the Kosovar Rebbe makes yearly pilgrimages to the Tasha Rebbe. Nonetheless, his followers remain very loyal to him. <laughs> Rebbe as conduit 
Unlike rabbis or non-Hasidic rebbes in other Jewish movements, Hasidic Judaism considers a Hasidic Rebbe to be a conduit between Jews and God. On the basis of traditional Kabbalistic concepts and terminology, Hasidic philosophy bridged Devikat, a Jewish concept referring to closeness to God, to the Hasidic Rebbe, embodying and channeling the divine flow of blessing to the world, because creation is dependent on the continuous flow of divine life force, without which it would revert to nothingness. Hasidic followers of a Rebbe Given a Rebbe's physical awareness of God, and the Rebbe's transcendent perception of godliness, many Hasidim take special care to observe the specific and sometimes minute practices of their Rebbe. Even things that seem mundane may nonetheless be seen by Hasidim as incredibly significant. For example, Lubavitcher Hasidim frequently shape their fedoras to match the way that the Lubavitcher Rebbe shaped his hat which was more flat than many others. Many Svur Hasidim of the Svur Rebbe in New Square wear their payos identical to those of the Svur Rebbe. While Hasidim do not always follow the specific practices of their Rebbe, the Rebbe is able to create practices that may be specific and unique to his Hasidim. For example, Rabbi Aaron Roth Rebarella, as he was called, the first Rebbe of Shomer Amunim, told his Hasidim to pause frequently while eating their meals in order to keep them from overindulging. A Hasid will usually love his Rebbe like a close family member, if not more so. The degree and nature of this belief varies, however, depending on the movement. <laughs> Functions of a Hasidic Rebbe There are some functions which are exclusively the domain of Hasidic Rebbes Reading Kavitlach Running a Tish or leading a Farbrengan Others are not exclusive to Hasidic Rebbes, but are often an important part of their role. Participating in family celebrations of the Hasidim, such as weddings and brism circumcision ceremony, Performing mitzvos, etc. In the presence of their Hasidim, such as kindling the Hanukkah lights and drawing water with which to bake matzos, Leading the prayers on Shabbos, holy days, and other special occasions. Delivering learned or inspirational discourses in Chabad Hasidit, this is one of the main roles of a Rebbe. Build educational, social and religious institutions. Kavitlach <laughs> <laughs> A Rebbe has times when Hasidim and other petitioners may come for a private audience. A K vital Yiddish for note, plural kavitlach is a note with the name of the petitioner and a short request for which the Rebbe is asked to pray. The formula in which a person's name is written is one's own Hebrew name, the son, daughter of one's mother's Hebrew name, such as Shimon ben Rivka, Simeon the son of Rebecca. Hasidim believe that Rebbe's read supernaturally, between the lines. Of a K vital, and in every Hasidic movement there are numerous anecdotes relating how the Rebbe saw things that were not written in the K vital. In most Hasidic groups, the K vital is written by the Rebbe's Gabai secretary, however sometimes the petitioner writes it on his own. Usually, but with some exceptions, a pidyon redemption of cash is customarily handed to the Rebbe under the K vital, but this is not obligatory. This is considered to be the conduit through which the blessing is given, and a redemption for the soul of the petitioner. A gift makes its receiver glad, is given as an explanation. A blessing only comes from a joyous heart. It is also customary to tip the goodbye, although this too is not obligatory. Tish and Farbrengen A Rebbe conducts a tish, Yiddish, pirate ties fiert tish, literally, to run a table, or a farbrengen a communal festive meal with highly mystical overtones—on Shabbat and other occasions. At a tish, the Rebbe distributes shiriam lit remnants to the Hasidim seated at or gathered round the table. When a gathering similar to a tish is led by a rabbi who is not a Rebbe, it can be referred to as a bot especially amongst groups from Romania or sheaves akim. See also Hasidic philosophy Hasidic Judaism List of Hasidic dynasties <laughs>